All right, hey, thanks for coming back. Duncan here. And what we're going to talk about in this section is the giveaway prize selection. And what I call, in general, is the rule of four. And in building your list, uh, building them out, you need to offer something to your audience that they really want, something of high perceived value. And recently I ran a contest in one of my sports niches where I purchased um, two tickets to a basketball game. And, um, you know, tickets to sporting events are of high perceived value. And, you know, you know NFL games are, or pro basketball games are much more expensive. But in the collegiate market, you can get pretty cheap tickets for 10, 15 bucks a pop. So those tickets cost me around 30 bucks. But to the entrance, uh, for the contest, being able to attend a game is a big deal because it's not every day that you can go to a game and see your favorite team. So, as you can imagine, I got a lot of subscribers from that contest. In fact, I did a real-time screen capture of all the subscribers being added to my list that's pretty impressive. And uh, what I did is I just opened up Camtasia, and when I started running ads to the contest, I um, recorded it on my inbox uh, where I was receiving notifications from AWeber that people had subscribed, and I did a time lapse over about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then um, I condensed it to like 30 seconds. So you can see all these uh, people being added to my list super, super fast. It was, it was actually kind of fun to watch. So I'll show you that in, in another section here in a second. So here are the rules, uh, what I call the rule of four. And anytime I run a contest, I try, for the most part, to stick to these rules. Um, first of all, is it gender, gender neutral, uh, non-gender specific? Um, actually, when I first started doing this, I ran a contest where I was giving away a purse. And it's like, eh, you know, I got a lot of entrance for it, but, um, and it was a sports-related niche purse with the team emblem on it. And so I got a lot of opt-ins on it, but I got to thinking, I was like, I probably would have gotten more if uh, it would have been a, a gender neutral gift or prize, if you will. So make sure you, all, whenever you're choosing it, ask yourself, is it gender neutral? Uh, is it a tangible, if it's a tangible item, um, like, um, let me think of uh, something here. Um, let's say you're going to give away like a, a tailgating uh, cooler. So it might be, you know, something big enough for, um, let's say, you know, a 12 pack of Cokes and some food, stuff like that. Well, you certainly don't want to make that tailgating item, the cooler, you don't want it to be pink. You know, it's got to be something that's, um, gender neutral in terms of color too. So make sure you stay on point with that. Ask yourself, Hey, would a guy and a girl both enjoy this, this prize? So, um, I made that mistake. And so anyway, just wanted to point that out. Uh, does it have year round usage or is it a one time use item? So make sure you ask yourself that. For example, if you're going to give away a necklace or something, uh, that of course has year round usage. Uh, whereas if you're going to give away, um, let's say some dog treats or something, uh, that's kind of like a one time use thing that, um, the person uh, who's winning it, uh, can't, show, have a sense of pride every time they use it, or, um, you know, have a really high point by going to see a basketball game or something like that. So you got to decide if it's a one-time use item and if it, or if it has year-round usage. So, uh, and jewelry is, is always a, a good item to give away. Uh, is it an evergreen item? Meaning, can I recycle the contest later down the line with the same item? So, you know, as you set up your list and your contest and your templates for this stuff, you might run a contest and it, um, let's say you're giving away some type of tailgating package for some collegiate sports teams or something. Is that something that you can recycle down the line that you don't have to go back and do all the work again? So I'll, I always take uh, that into consideration because speed of implementation for me is always important. So I try to pick items and, and not, you can't do it with the, the collegiate sports tickets, but you can do it in like the pet niche where you're giving away a piece of jewelry. You can keep running that over and over and over to different uh, targeted audiences. So keep that in mind as well. Now, when you're give, picking your giveaway, think about this. What sounds sexier to win? Two free tickets to a sporting event uh, of, the, of their favorite team or a beer koozie with the name on it? Now, a lot of people, when they're doing giveaways, 
they're like, ah, I just want to give away something inexpensive because you don't want to pay for it. Well, let me tell you, giving away something that has a higher perceived value will get you more opt-ins and you'll actually, the more people that opt in, the more opportunity that you're going to have to monetize them while they're in uh, that you know entrance frenzy feed, which I'll show you how to monetize it later, but you're also going to get more people on that list. So make sure that you don't do something you know that's real super cheapy that is not of high perceived value because you want to get the biggest bang for your buck and get as many people on your list as possible. So the tickets obviously sound uh, a lot more sexy. So if you're going to uh, going to give away something in the dog niche, what do you think is going to get more clicks? A dog collar or a $25 German Shepherd necklace with earrings? Well, pretty much pretty self-explanatory on that. It's going to be, um, you know, probably a woman that's entering to win the contest and all women like jewelry and they're, they love their German Shepherd. So, you know, they want to wear that uh, jewelry, uh, showing their sense of pride for their dog that they own. So, um, Jewelry is all you, you can never almost never go wrong with jewelry. So, um, moving along, oh, went backwards on that one. So, um, your calls to action and and your choice and how you choose your prize affects your contest. I've got a little typo there, so uh, kind of threw me for a second. <laughs> so, if you're giving away, um, you know, jewelry, then that's a lot sexier to describe than a beer koozie. So uh, a good one that you can always fall back on that always meets the rule of four is Amazon gift cards uh, because, or any gift card for that matter, because, well, basically people love to win money and a gift card is basically digital money. So if you're ever at a loss for what to use for your giveaway, then the go-to gift or the go-to prize is always an Amazon gift card. Now, um, you, your calls to action um, are easier to write whenever you have something that's a little bit sexier or higher perceived value. Um, so those things are a lot easier to craft. So my go-to calls to actions are pretty obvious. It's always, I always, almost always use when, um, and then I put a, a quick description of what it is. When this German Shepherd necklace and earrings, and I would probably improve upon that and say when this silver German plate or silver German Shepherd necklace and earrings. Uh, another good one that I always do that always gets me a lot of opt-ins is tickets to games. Uh, so win these two tickets to the Wisconsin Badgers basketball game. Um, again, the Amazon gift cards are always good. Uh, win this Amazon gift card, no purchase necessary uh, because um, there's a lot of skepticism with conducting these contests. Um, so um, people are always skeptical. So always give details on your prizes that will actually, and there's a section in the social post pilot giveaway thing where you can describe what they're winning. So always give some details in there and basically you can just go into Amazon or maybe eBay or wherever you're buying the item from. Let's say you're giving away a tangible uh, goods item, then you can just copy that description and put it in the social post pilot uh, body area. So that uh, anyone that's entering the contest knows exactly what they're going to be winning. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, just make sure that always choose something that has a high perceived value, jewelry, uh, gift cards, tickets to games, uh, things of that nature. Um, those are always good go-to items to give away. So hope this helped. Let's move, hope this helped you. So let's move on to the next section, uh, the next module, and we'll get started on that. All right, take care. See you in the next one.